Blessings to you. My name is Jerry B. I am the Entree Musician and so are you. Hey, welcome to the Entree Musician Minute where we just hit it and quit it, giving you quick news you can use right now. And today I want to share with you five podcasts that you better be listening to. And I mean that. You better be on it. Five podcasts. I could share more, but these five as entree musicians, you need to be absolutely on. But before we do that, let's do this. As you know, all of our videos are sponsored by the wonderful people at Vocal, which is the only beverage on the planet designed to soothe, refresh, and restore your voice. If you talk all day like I've been doing today or you sing all night, you got to get yourself some Vocal. Go to drinkvocal.com to learn more get this it helps absolutely so as you know entree musicians are always in learning mode we want to make sure that even if we're moving an inch it's giving us an edge to take our career from here to where we want to be and so we're learning from everybody hey there's no one guru and as you know entree musicians operate by the three C's. We don't compete, we don't compare, we don't criticize. I've got a video on that. You need to check that one out. So I'm listening to everybody. I'm not in competition with anyone because I want to get ahead. And there's a lot that we can learn. And I've been tripping on these great podcasts and I wanted to share them with you. This first gentleman is a legend. If you don't know music marketing, you don't know Bob Baker. And if you don't know Bob Baker, you really don't have a clue about music marketing. He was one of the first way back in the way back that started teaching on it, writing books on it, writing articles and whatnot. And he has a fantastic podcast. He has a fantastic podcast called Music Marketing. You definitely want to be listening and in tune to whatever Bob is saying. He's always thinking outside the box. The next dude is a person that I've been following uh, on the recordingrevolution.com just to get my mixing skills on point. And he started a uh, podcast. Actually, it's a video blog at his uh, website, Graham Cochran.com. And of course, I'll put all of the links to everybody that I'm talking about in the description box. But Graham Cochran, your virtual mentor, and he's talking about the other side on, on the blog. He's talking about the other dynamics of just being an artist or just being a creative and how you can get absolutely more out of your career and thinking outside of the box. It's really beautiful stuff. Uh, another recording engineer who's a legendary guy uh, who has a fantastic podcast, and that's Bobby Ozinski. I think I'm always mispronouncing his name, but Bobby Ozinski. And uh, I'll put the link to his uh, podcast down below as well. But his, his is called The Inner Circle. And it's absolutely fabulous. I mean, he, he goes the extremes of the spectrum of everything that we need to know in this ever-changing music industry. So you better be listening to Bobby because he's definitely got it going on. Now, this gentleman... Uh, is not a musician, but I think he kind of wants to be or used to be or wish he would have been. <laughs> and his name is Michael Hyatt. And uh, I follow Mike uh, as far as being a virtual mentor. He's one of mine. Michael Hyatt is, has a wonderful uh, podcast. And his new, well, he had uh, two podcasts, but he has a great book platform, uh, uh, the other one is uh, Living Forward, another excellent book by him and uh, Daniel Harkavy. Uh, but this podcast is called Lead to Win, and you need to be up on it. Again, it's not designed for the musician uh, per se, but uh, as entree musicians, the entrepreneurial side of what we're doing and how we should be thinking and what our work ethic should be and how to plan our lives and really live forward as we should. This is a great 
broadcast to just keep your edge on things. And I, sometimes I listen to Michael and I feel a lot of conviction, like, you know, what I should be doing. And I'm not just like right on point, but it's not for the purpose of convicting you or making you feel down. It's really very encouraging. Like, yo, this is how winners think. This is how high achievers think. This is the way you should be honing yourself so that when you hone yourself, when you sharpen yourself, you can actually sharpen your craft, whatever that craft may be. And then this is a new one, uh, this last one here, uh, by a young man named Aaron Davison. I'm just really getting hip to who he is. He's really into uh, film licensing or licensing your music for film and for other multimedia, and that's called Music, Money, and Life. Great broad broadcast. I had an opportunity to travel uh, from where I am to uh, Pittsburgh and just was letting it roll on and, you know, Pittsburgh and back, and I should say, and uh, just listen to uh, several of the uh, interviews that he had uh, with different people who are using their music or having their music used in uh, licensing. Just a lot of great information. So if that's the route you're going, that's the route that I'm going. Uh, and, and looking and really researching, but now I'm just trying to absorb as much information about it as possible. And he may have tweaked, may have tweaked uh, my approach on Spotify. As you know, I've been pretty hard on Spotify, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that uh, whole basis of how streaming royalties come in with a critical eye. But there were some. Uh, you know, interviews that he did with some artists who are doing some interesting things within the uh, framework of Spotify. So I'm, I, you know, the jury's not out personally for me yet, but, you know, I'm open-minded enough to listen to see what others are doing that I have not yet thought about. Anyway, you want to check out Music, Money, and Life with Aaron Davison. And I said five, but I'm going to give you just one more because here's one I've been listening to for a long time as a bonus. And you absolutely want to check out Todd Henry and the Accidental Creative. Let me tell you something, man. His, his tagline, let me see if I get this right. His tagline is cover bands don't change the world right but uh musicians do i mean you know original music does let me say that again <laughs> i screwed it up cover bands don't change the world but uh originality does i mean and uh he makes a point the accidental creative is just goes beyond is he you have to be a really creative person to know what this guy is talking about and and all entree musicians fit that bill. It doesn't matter your genre of music. It really doesn't matter if you're a musician at all. If you write poetry, if you write books, as Todd Henry has done, anything that you're doing creatively on that spectrum, just that mindset and that discipline is uh, where you should be. So you better get started on these podcasts. And here's what I would like to ask of you. I've mentioned six so that five plus one, but who do you listen to? Who inspires you? Who are you reading? Who are you watching? Who's the trendsetter? Who makes you think outside the box or really help to hone your skill? Who is that person, you know, uh, that, that really does it for you? Why don't you put their information in the description box as well so we can all learn and grow together. So that's it. This was a little longer than a minute, but it happened. <laughs> My name is Jerry B. I am the Entree Musician, and so are you. We will see you next time. Peace and blessings.